What's going on, guys? This is Mickey coming at you with a one year review of the Mackie Big Knob Passive Monitor Controller. Now, I just want to tell you first off that this thing is awesome. The reason I bought it is because it's passive. Um, it does allow two pairs of mon or yeah, two pairs of monitors, whereas you can get one with more, but it also comes as an audio interface, and you have to plug it in and all this stuff. Um, there's one that's older, the older model you can get. I think it's called the uh, Big Knob Studio or something, and it's the older model is passive, and it allows for uh, more accessibility. But this one right here is exactly what I was looking for. Um, I'm just trying to switch between two sets of monitors. And an added benefit that I didn't think I was going to use that much is this cable right here, which is like your third source you can use. And that is, so first off, I have just one source, which is my uh, audio interface. And from that, it splits into the two monitors so I can listen to my tracks on two separate sources so I can hear it in the mix and I can make changes to make it sound good on both sets of monitors. That's the whole point of doing this. But anyway, this cord right here will take over the second in channel because there are two places you can put into this thing. But So I use it for this and I can plug in a song that is similar to what I'm working on and it'll be a popular song, and I can compare my mix to that mix, and that helps get it a lot closer as well. So, and also the build quality on this thing, I mean, it still looks brand new. Granted, I haven't moved it, but it's built like a tank. Um, it's a lot taller than I thought it would be before I got it, but um, the knob is super smooth, just like all the other reviews and whatnot say. But here, let me show you. I've got I just worked on a Christmas album this season, so I've got the instrumental from that album loaded up here. And I'll show you just kind of what the function is like. So right now, that's just playing out of my Yamaha HS8s. And then I can switch monitors. And now it's playing out of my JBL 5-inch speakers, which don't have much bass compared to the HS8s, but they have a lot more of like a mid-range bass. And since I'm talking, I can dim this a little bit. Um, but that mid-range bass on those is a lot stronger, so that gives them a way different like image than the HS8s. You can also mix in mono, which you probably can't hear a difference when I push that button. These switches right here are built super strong as well. I love the way that they feel. They click super strong. Um, but yeah, other than just needing a bunch of cables to set it up, it's the, the bomb. You don't have to turn it on. It's always, it's just passive. It's like a, I don't know. It's, it's awesome. So Anyway, that's my review of the Big Knob. I think you should buy this one. I don't... If you have power running through your stuff, that's just another thing to cause hum and whatnot in your speakers. Just go with the passive. This is super just stress-free and easy. It's made of, like, cast iron or whatever. But, yeah, you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this review. And peace out.